Greetings folks, today I'll be looking at the AKK uh, Race Ranger video transmitter. It is uh, 5.8 gigahertz and transmitting power up to 1600 milliwatts. That's a powerful video transmitter. Here we have it in the box. Serious looking video transmitter with a really, really serious uh, heat sink, which will, it will obviously need if it's going to output that amount of power can be supplied with 7 volts to 28 volts. Switchable power from 200, 400, 800 up to 1600 milliwatts. Smart audio function. The antenna jack is MMCX uh, and you get an MMCX to SMA adapter. Has a built-in microphone, has one button set up and set up via smart audio of course. And the weight of the unit itself is 16.8 grams. Also in the box we get a little instruction manual here. S uh, MMCX to SMA adapter and the little connection cable. Cable just plugs in there in the side wire on whatever connectors you need click the antenna cable in there it's push and click to fit the hole spacing is 36 millimeters 30.5 millimeters now there's one vital bit of information that you don't get in the instruction manual but you do get on the AKK website and that's the wiring diagram uh, but basically it's pretty logical really First red wire is the input voltage, then we get ground, then we get 5 volt out for the uh, camera if you want to power the camera from the video transmitter, ground for the camera, video and smart audio. Smart audio, it's something I've never tried, uh, but it means you can control the power and the settings of the video transmitter remotely or using a flight control board or um, Lua script on a Tyrannus. And what you do is connect the smart audio to a spare UART on the flight control board and then use your transmitter to change settings. Okay, I have a camera plugged in to the wire lead, power and video to and from the video transmitter. I've got a little SMA antenna on there. Let's connect up the power. Get some LEDs on here indicating the band, the channel and the power and we've got it on screen. So maybe you can see the colours of the LEDs, that's the blue channels, the green bands and the red power and it's just a matter of pushing the button for one second to change channel, push for two seconds to change to the band, that flashes once, now you can change the band through the five different bands. That's the green LED. Push for four seconds and you can change the power. Red light flashes and now we can go through the different power settings. 200, 400, 800, 1600. And that's all there is. Now I'm going to investigate this smart audio function. I haven't ever used it before. I did a bit of research online and uh, some people are having problems. Uh, some people say it doesn't work. The AKK version doesn't work with INAV. As luck would have it, Sir Parvel, everyone's favourite INAV developer, uh, was having a Q&A session live this morning and I asked him if the AKK smart audio does work with INAV and he says yes, he's using it with all his AKK uh, video transmitters and it works fine so let's go ahead and try it. Now I've, there's the green wire, I've sold it on this one here. I uh, need to put it into the TX pin of a spare UART uh, and I'm choosing TX3 which is that pin there. Now we go to INAV configurator and set it up. So I have a Matek F405 wing board there, there's the video transmitter, receiver plugged in, camera plugged in, uh, I shall connect it to the laptop, wait for the right port to be discovered, connect, 
Gordo. Okay, so we'll go to ports. Spare UART uh, 3 is my spare UART, and we select this uh, Smart Audio, TBS smart, uh, smart Audio. Save and reboot. Now we go down to OSD and make them visible on screen just so we know what we're doing. Scroll down to uh, video transmitter band and channel, make that visible, and video transmitter power level. Here they are here, just drag them somewhere that's visible. Save that, disconnect. Okay, here's the ISD, you can see the channel and power there, and by doing your stick command, so that's uh, throttle mid, your left, and pitch full up, we get into the on-screen display. So now we go down to features and across, and we can choose uh, video transmitter smart audio, and there we can choose the band, Boscam E, channel one, tells you the frequency and the power. So uh, I can't, I won't change the band and channel because we'll lose the picture, but we can change the power there. And that's interesting, although this transmitter goes from 200, 400, 800, 1600, it's showing 25, 200, 500 and 800. Uh, you just have to know, I suppose, that when it says 25, it actually means 200 on the board. Uh, let's change the channel to, so channel, we'll go to channel 2, uh, and we have to go down to set after this as well. Set, yes, and yes, yeah, so we lost the channel, so now I've got to search, find the right channel again. Oh, there it was there. And we're back on the right channel. So that is a powerful and nicely designed little video transmitter. Great for long range. Uh, I'm not into long range and I'm never going to show long range on my channel so I can't demonstrate that unfortunately but I think it would make a great long range FPV video transmitter. Banggood have just sent me the uh, coupon spreadsheet for the upcoming Black Friday sales. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I haven't had a look at it myself yet but if you find anything worth getting excited about let me know. Thanks for watching.